Algebra 1, number 5.1d. This is the zero exponent rule. We've been talking about exponents, and we saw in the last video, 5.1c, that we divide using exponents by subtracting the exponents. So to divide 4 to the fifth power by 4 to the third power, we just subtract the 3 from the 5, and that'll give us 4 to the second power. When we have the same numerator and denominator, it'll equal 1 because the numerator and denominator are the same, right? It's 1. So if we have 4 to the second power over 4 to the second power, this is going to be a 1. But what happens when we do 2 take away 2? We get 4 to the 0 power. We get a 0 exponent. Whenever we have a 0 exponent on any number or variable, it equals 1, okay? It doesn't equal itself. It equals a 1, all right? If there was a little 1 here, it would be 4. But 0 exponent, it equals 1, okay? So any number or variable with a 0 for an exponent is equal to 1. That's the 0 exponent rule. The formal rule says for any non-zero rational number a, a to the 0 power is going to equal 1. So it's saying you can't do this with a 0. You can't say 0 to the 0 power, okay? That's what they're saying. That does not equal 1, okay? They're saying that the base has to be a non-zero number, and then the exponents of 0, then it'll equal 1, okay? So let's take a look at this. We've got 2 to the 7th power over 2 to the 7th power. When we do the 2, 7 minus 7th for the powers, we get 2 to the 0 power, see? And that's going to equal 1. So it's as if we had... 2, 7 times on the top as the numerator, and 7 times on the bottom as the denominator, and we canceled each one of these out. See? If we did all this multiplication, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32, times 2 is 64, 64 times 2 is 128, so this whole thing equals 128 over 128. See? Same numerator and denominator, so it's going to equal a 1. And even if it's a variable, if we have x to the third power over x to the third power, it's going to be the same thing. The 3 take away the 3 is going to be a 0. x is going to equal 1. And it doesn't matter what x stands for. x could be taking the place of 99. It could be taking the place of 13. It doesn't matter. If it's got a 0 there, it equals 1, okay? It's the same numerator and denominator. So when we multiply any number, variable, or exponent by a zero exponent, it's going to keep its identity like the identity property because 6 to the zero power is a 1, isn't it? So if we did 6 to the zero power times 2 to the third power, it's going to stay 2 to the third power because this guy is a 1. See? If we're going to multiply x to the zero power times y to the third power, x to the zero power equals a 1. So it's going to stay y to the third power, like identity property, see? So make sure you check this video's description for links to previous videos, similar or helpful videos on this particular topic, okay? All the exponent videos from 5.1 will be in there, okay? 5.1 A, B, C, all right? So I hope this was helpful. I hope you're doing okay. We're making our way through Chapter 5 here, and I'll see you next video. Bye.